Welcome, Welcome back. back. Big Mama Tribe. Yes. Okay. I'm Brittany. And I'm Tia. And this is Big Mama Energy. Energy. Okay. Welcome to any newcomers. Welcome. Yes. Welcome to the tribe. Welcome to the tribe. Okay. Man. And if you're new and are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now while you're Do here. It now. Okay. Thank you very much. Push we greatly button. appreciate it. Okay, um, so um, today, what are we talking about, sissy? We're talking about sex, baby. Let's talk about it. <laughs> we're talking about sex. Let's yes, talk about let's it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I feel like this is such a taboo topic for whatever reason. So we're going to get into it, okay? Yes, but before we get into the rest of the video, we just want to make sure you check out these dope teas we got, okay? From our girl Latoya. Uh-huh, on Instagram. Yes. Her ad name is Plush Tings Apparel. Okay, oh, we're definitely going to list it down in the description box. Absolutely. Um, with our Instagram information. But yes, I have this blank tea, plush John, you know. It's a Philly thing. It's a Philly okay, thing. We you already joy. know. We're some joy. Yes. Everything is a joy. <laughs> Everything is a uh, person, place, or thing. It's a name. And then I have on my plush as t-shirt. Plush as fuck. Cute. I mean, it is self-explanatory. Okay. You already know. Yes, but we will definitely leave that down so y'all guys can shop with her. Yes. Okay. And get cute like us. Yes. Okay? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Support, support, support. Okay. Yes. So, um, so let's get into let's it. Get into Alright, so first and foremost, like I said, I feel like sex is such a taboo topic. And um, we have to normalize having these conversations, for sure. And it's very, very important. I feel mm. like a lot of people, you know, always say, oh, sex isn't everything. And no, I agree, it's not everything, but it's very it's a important. Big part. It's a big part. It plays a big role. And whatever kind of relationship you have, you know what I mean, with that person. Whether it's your buddy or your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Your husband, your husband, wife, wife, you know what I mean? It's side joy, side nigga. I mean, no, it's serious. <laughs> Seriously, no, it's important because, yeah. like, if you're just out here just having sex, you're not really doing anything. If you, you ask me, if you're just having sex to have it, yeah. like, you know, yeah. and just basic, corny sex, if you're not really fulfilling yourself. Or your partner. Or your partner. What's the point? Okay, so that's pretty much what we're going to be talking about today um, because I feel like there's a lot of people, a lot of people mm -hmm. that are not sexually fulfilled. And, that's true. and they that's are true. uncomfortable having a conversation right. about it. Yeah. And it shouldn't be a it shouldn't hard be awkward. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be. be awkward. It, it should shouldn't just, be. You know, be like, okay, this is what I like. Yes, and I feel like okay, younger. I can I kind of understand it when you're younger, when maybe. You're young. But like now, you know, 25 approaching 30 and above, you should be having these conversations. I feel like. I feel like yeah, we're grown now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when you are when you reach that age, you're grown. So you need to know what that person likes, and they need to know what you like, so it could be a you know cohesive flow. Okay, and then, I mean, so you can know each other's boundaries, too. Right. Um, do you feel like you have a lot of conversation? Well, not, I'm not going to say a lot of conversation, but you're comfortable with having the sex conversation? I'm very comfortable, mm -hmm. uh, especially at this age. I'm very comfortable. I wasn't always, you know right. what I mean? I mm -hmm. feel like before I was, like, kind of, like, nervous, you know, or I, I thought this person might judge me. Right. Like, oh, my gosh. What are they going to say? How are they going to, you know, take it if I tell them I like certain things? Uh -huh. But now, um, no. Yeah. Like, once I hit, I'm going to say once I got into like, maybe like 24, 25. Uh -huh. I was like, look, it is what it is. You know, this is what I like. And I wish I was that way earlier on. Right. Um, but I was like, this is what I like. And it is what it is. And honestly... It had became a deal breaker if you didn't do certain things. Right. Um, first and foremost, like, I feel the same about, you know, as you, what you said as far as, like, when I was a little younger, I wasn't comfortable having the conversation. But like I said, we're getting older, and who wants to be in a relationship when you're not being fulfilled, and, you know, vice versa, right. you know what I mean? You need to know what your partner wants you know because we're going to get into why it's important um but also like i was saying i agree with you as far as like telling people 
what I want now. Like mm -hmm. now I feel a little bit more comfortable. I would say in the last, well, when I would was, say. When was it? When did you really get like comfortable, you know, letting people know like, look, this is what I like. What I would say is when I was dating my ex, I was very comfortable with that. Oh, like man. we were comfortable with each other. It was, yeah, it was weird. Like we were just comfortable with each other. Um, and sometimes that happens. There's different levels to comfortability, especially depending on the connection and chemistry you have with right, people. Right. Um, now, have we ever just sat down and just had a full-blown conversation about, you know, sex? We didn't. Mm -hmm. Me and my ex like that. We didn't. Okay. But it was one of those things where, you know, if I felt like, oh, I want to try this, you know, I would say something to him, but it wasn't like a sit down, like, okay, let's talk about sex this day and a third. It's like, okay, we might be getting frisky and something oh, new yeah. might pop out the box. Do, and you know what? And we both be with it. Or if it's something that we both not feeling, it's like, uh, no, you know, we can pass, but right. it's okay. We did it. You know what I'm saying? Try it. It is what it is. Um, That's a good point, too. I agree with you. Just trying things. And just to see, you know, well, they might get you punched on. It, it really on, depends, it depends on your connection. That's why I said the chemistry and connection, connection with that person. With the person, yeah. it really can differ because you can kind of like inch and try, you know, certain things and right. see if somebody's gonna fill it out. Mm -hmm. You know, fill it out and see if somebody's gonna like it. If right. you're getting that vibe where they're like, you know what I mean, like looking at you, right. like, hey, hey, now, you know what I mean, right. then you whoa, know whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> not to do that. But I like to try certain things, you know what I mean? And see what this person, my partner, is with. Exactly. And I like to talk about it. Exactly. And that's what I feel like. I feel like some things, like, if you want to try it, you think, like, uh, it's not a big thing. Mm -hmm. It's not really too crazy right. out of the box, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. Out the ordinary. I feel like that's something that you could just, like, kind of just cooch in, in there and throw yeah. in there. Yeah. Uh, for some drastic things, yeah, you might want to have a conversation talk. about that. Yeah. Some you know? people don't. They just bend the bus it over. Some people don't. And just, yeah. But sometimes, you, like I said, I feel like, um, depending on your connection right. and chemistry, sometimes it just be a go. Like, yeah. sometimes, literally, things that you never even thought of, you will be like, oh. And in the heat of the moment, it and in the heat of the moment, that passion. Yes, we'll take. Let it me tell you. Now you look inside somebody's nostrils, like, <laughs> and you're like, what the? Look at people's heads and stuff. Like, listen, listen. It gets. It yeah. gets like that with the right person, and this is why we are talking about sex. Is because it's so, so, so important. It eliminates a lot of issues um, by having a conversation. Um, a lot of people shut down because they feel like they're going to be judged mm -hmm. by liking certain things. Um, maybe you're not going to be with it, so that could be an issue. They may feel like, oh, you won't leave them, or you might look at them a certain way. So, like, they stray, and sometimes they cheat. You know what I mean? And why do they cheat? Because they're not being fulfilled. Right. But also, you... Anytime that I have cheated, I don't do that now, but anytime <laughs> that I have cheated, it was because of, you know, sex something sexual that you didn't do. Mm -hmm. Or you weren't paying me attention. Yes. In that department. Mm-hmm. And somebody else was. You know what I mean? Not that it's, I mean, it might not be for you when I'm not saying this right, but this is what happened. But this is to eliminate that. Yeah, this is to eliminate that. Um, learn that and, and that's what I had to learn too you know I was like okay so with my next partner I'm talking about all this stuff from the door mm -hmm. right out the gate okay listen this is what nobody I has time to be in relationship with people and be having bad sex no or sex that is just no. not fulfilling your needs yeah we're not doing that it, it, they, we can't do it, you know what I mean? So, to avoid all of that from happening, for to avoid you not being satisfied, your partner not being satisfied, you definitely should have a conversation. And when having the conversation, you know, let's say, maybe this sex is just bad. It's you. wet. Like, it's, it's wet, you know? It's, it's corny. You, I don't know if it's always been wet, or it's like getting wet over the years. You know, you definitely want to have a conversation, but you want to have the conversation the right way. You know, you don't want to have it in front of people. Mm -hmm. You want to make that person feel comfortable enough because, like I said, it can be an awkward conversation. And one might think, like, oh, 
you're I don't want to say you're trying to play them, but they might yeah. feel that way. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So like, um, oh, well, this works with whoever. Okay, well I'm not whoever you're talking about. And that's the thing. Dip it's really different. Like yeah. I, I, when people try to compare, um, sex is very different. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is different. Yes. Sex with one person is not the same as another person. I, that's just from my experience. From Correct my, me if I'm wrong. No, yeah, like from mine too. You know, just because old girl like that doesn't mean I do. Exactly. You have to really be clear. You know, with your partner, like, okay, I like that. You know, this is what I like, and listen to them too. Cause then it's a good time. It's definitely a good and time. And I feel like women in general have been like just faking orgasms mm -hmm. for the longest. You know, not getting what they want, not having an orgasm at all. Right. You know what I mean? That's and it's like, like, not even being 30 years old or in your 20s and not even experiencing an orgasm. 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 I'm not doing And it's so many people yeah. that's like that. And yeah. it's just like And they just all about pleasing their partner. And I like to please I'm too. a pleaser as well, but no. I need that too. Like, like you it. know, let's let's not be the selfish love. It definitely needs to be reciprocated. I mean? Yeah, it has to be reciprocated. Like, you know, I can't just lay there and act like I'm having a good time. Like that's corny. I'm not doing it. So. Yeah. And some people might be like you know, especially people with the egos, whether mm -hmm. you're messing with a man or a woman, whatever. Some people, you know, the ego might be like, what you mean I'm not fulfilling you? Be prepared for that. Be prepared, Be prepared right. for the, you know, the defense because uh, nobody wants to hear you're not satisfying me. That's why I kind of <laughs> said you want to kind of ease yeah. into it. You want to yeah. fluff it. What is it called? The a something sandwich? I forgot. Oh, yeah. Where you kind of, it's normally like you give them a compliment. And you go you, in for the kill and, and then, then you, you give another compliment, compliment. You know what I'm saying? It make it all good. And I don't know about the sandwich because if I done told you <laughs> several times, Man, I'm going there. See, if it's a several times, yeah. you know what I mean? That's different. But right. if this is your first time, like, having right. the, you know, you conversation, be easy, be easy you yeah. know, because you just don't know how people are going to take it. And when you're trying to, first of all, anybody with their goods is going to feel away if you're trying to fun. tell them that it ain't good. Like, I'm like, what you mean? Like, what you mean? Because I ain't never had no fucking problem. I ain't never all. had no problem. Well, now you have one. <laughs> now you have a problem. I'm not, you know what I mean? So you have to, like like Sissy said, you can ease them in with that mm -hmm. fucking sandwich, or whatever that's called. I forget, we'll look it up. But yeah, give it to them nice, you know, talk to them and let them know, like, listen, this is what gets me there. This is what gets you me gotta, going. And, and listen, because each, each person is different, so y'all should be having this conversation anyway. You know what I mean? Because each person is different. I want to know what gets you going. Honestly, I feel like me personally now i definitely feel like that this is a conversation that should be had before anything goes down entering a relationship i definitely feel like that you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that as soon as you meet somebody you have to be like oh, well what you like to do and how do you like it but um if you're getting to know somebody and you feel it like progressing and mm -hmm. you kind of feel that you know you know when it's so sexual, vibe, you know exactly. the chemistry when it's, the chemistry when it's like all right mm -hmm. next time i see this person it might pop off right. so i definitely feel like um it's a conversation to have it is. and i'm not saying have phone sex and nothing like that but <laughs> i'm not knocking that either you know what i mean anything that you like to do that gets spicy Listen. But you know, and just have that conversation because you know he this person might be a some other shit that you like way not into. He might or, be on some Christian Grace. Exactly. And you like oh, oh, oh. And you like, whoa, 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 you know, or the other way around. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely a conversation that needs to be had. You know? True. I didn't have situations true. where, you know, a guy that told me he liked to get his nipples lit. Oh yeah, that's that's a common. Yeah, yeah, it's like okay, man. I suck a little titty. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Whatever too. it is, whatever gets you there. I'm, wait, you know, go, it's like, it's just like well, okay. You know, within reason. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty open minded. Right. You know, I'm pretty open minded. And if that's something that you really like and it takes you there, I'm with it. Yes, and I am pretty open as well. Um, this mm -hmm. is why. Okay. So, you know, I've been single for a, a long time now, whatever. Now, have I been celibate? No, I have not. You know, I have been single, but, you know, I've had a partner too. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, the thing is, though, I am a freak. 
Period. I am. And that's okay. just it. But I am selective. Like, pretty much, my thing is, I don't want to have sex with everybody. Because everybody's right. not good at sex. That's mm -hmm. number one. And I feel like people are inconsistent. That's number two. Yeah. And I'm not just going to be bending, busting open for anybody. Um, if you hear people always say, oh, you're not a freak, you're not a freak just because they're not trying to bust it open for you. That's not true. That's not a definition okay? of a freak. Then maybe they're not comfortable with you. Exactly. Like, in a real freak, I feel like a real freak. First of all, know the difference, too. Because you have fake freaks, you have real freaks, and right. then you have nymphos. Mm, okay? Yeah. It's levels to this. It's okay? definitely levels And you to need it. to know what you're messing with. Or you have people that just not, they're not a freak at all. They're not And a they freak. let you know that. So. And they let you know <laughs> exactly. Just because somebody don't want to bend the bus, bust it open for you does not make them right. a freak. Yeah. I mean, not a freak. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, Maybe they're not attracted to you. They could not be attracted to you. In that way, you know what I mean? Or it's just like, you don't know. You don't know. Yes. I just feel like me personally, like a lot of people may feel like, okay, she's not a freak. And that's fine. Mm. But I know what I am right and i'm like i said i'm selective so i'm not just bending busted open in it for everybody and also if i have sex i'm gonna want to keep having sex absolutely you know what i mean so this is where consistency ties into yes, it yes. you know what i mean so that's that's my thing you know what i mean and i just like that's why i'm not gonna say i, I did say that i'm a relationship person mm -hmm. But, you know, if I had a consistent fuck buddy, I'd be good. But the consistency, the but the consistency is a lick. Yeah. A lick up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is why I'm over here, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Lock, <laughs> Lock down, down over here. Like, nothing, nothing, nothing is happening over here. But And it's unfortunate because something could be happening if people could Oh, know. something definitely could be happening, but people are not consistent. Right. People are dirty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, just, to, it's just a lot. It's a lot that goes into play with it. And it's a lot of people that's out here thinking that they're freaks because they just fucking on random people. All it the just time. is. And that's not a definition of clear. Freak. Just because you are on some fat stuff, you know, you're just on anything, that does not make you a freak. And that you doesn't have a mean high that your sex is good. Baby. Yeah, and it doesn't mean that it's good. Be clear, it does not mean that it's good. Are you satisfying me? Just because your dick get hurt does not mean that it's good. And just because your cootie get wet doesn't mean it's good. What else is going on? What else is going on? What else? Um, yeah, so be honest from the gate. Be honest about what you like. <laughs> you know, and find out what your partner likes. I just think, you know. We should normalize that. Definitely. Normalize having those conversations, those hard conversations. No pun intended. But yeah, I mean, I I talked to my, you know, my fiance, and when we first started dealing with each other, story time. Uh, we actually, <laughs> when her first conversation on the phone. Yeah. Conversation that ended Let up with phone sex. Let me really? Tell you yeah. Oh, and, okay. Yeah, you know, that's that's very, easy. Cause I know that. Yeah. A very long. I mean, we was on the phone for like four, six hours, something like this. So, okay. Four to six Those hours. conversations, you know, I've been there before. Yes. Where the later it got, you already know the right. vibes. And that's just, and I was like, oh, okay, I was intrigued, but it helped. You know what I mean? Cause I was like, okay, this is my type of person. Okay. Here. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying, venture into those conversations. It might not lead to that, but right. You know. And see, it's crazy because. I'm more of a doer. Mm -hmm. So, like, I've had phone sex before, but that's not really my yeah, go to thing. Like, I'm a doer. Mm -hmm. Like, I, me talking and telling you, like, I really, like, honestly, what I will say is if I had phone sex with you, mm -hmm. you made me feel a way. And that's the thing, saying, because I don't really, that's not really my thing. Either. Yeah, like, you made me so, feel like I wanted yeah. to go there. Exactly. You feel me? I feel like it was that chemistry, that connection. Yes. And yes. I was like, okay. Yeah. Because me sitting on the phone telling you all the things that I want to do, that's not really yeah. my thing. I'd rather, like, if if it's getting there, we might as well do the damn thing. That's yeah, just. I understand that. Right. But see, we were. He was, first of all, <laughs> it was a weird, awkward situation. But I don't know. He was. At work, pretty much. Oh Lord! So and the conversation <laughs> got good, and you know it was what it was. But um, and it was just like 
it was just a crazy ass connection, mm -hmm. you know, and it was just like in the moment and it was, it was, yeah, it was intriguing. Okay. And that caught my attention straight up. I was like, okay, first of all, we done busted up for that long of a time. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, you seem like a freak from this conversation. So I'm intrigued and I want to say, I can't wait to the first day now. I was excited. Like, but see, okay. that's what's up. Like then that kind of chemistry and connection, you can't fake that. Right. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? You can't deny that, you know? And mind you, y'all didn't really kick it until afterwards, right. but you know, shit could have got weird, but it didn't. Shit could have got, got weird, but shit it could have got weird. My voice went up weird, but yeah, <laughs> shit could have got weird. I mean, I mean, and I mean, even when we first met up, it wasn't even weird. It was uh -huh. just like, okay, like we've known each other, you know what I mean? And that's it wasn't how I and it wasn't, and I was like hoping that he wasn't like on some weird shit because now we talk about sex. Right, okay. Oh, but he wasn't. Was right. He was still on some regular stuff. You know, we linked up. We didn't even talk about sex. We was, you know, having a good time on our first date. Just mm -hmm. getting to know each other. So, but in the back of our, our minds, we probably knew like. Absolutely. Now that, especially now that the chemistry is like that in person, we're like, all right, this is going to be great. This is right. Be you know what I mean? Oh, right. Because so. you ever have a conversation with somebody on the phone and it be all of that? All of that. All of that. And then y'all kicking for the first time and you be like. Where's the mother on the phone? Where's right. that? Because this ain't it. Because this ain't that, boy. What's going on? Some people can carry on on the phone. Yes, they can carry on. And then in person, trash. Quiet as church mouse. I'm weird. Like, weird. Where all that shit was talking? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, like, yeah, no, no, Did no. you grow up in the basement? Like, what's going on? Did you grow up in the basement? I'm just saying. You're like, your Norman Bates? Like, what's really good? I don't know. On? But yes, um, I've definitely been in those situations too. So, definitely when that connection is real, yeah. It's just there. Okay, it's just there. But we definitely got to talk about we sex. We do. We gotta talk okay? about sex. Okay, it'll eliminate a lot of issues. Talk about sex and then like even with, we gotta normalize that. Like I feel like with your girlfriends too, your friends and stuff, mm -hmm. your family, whatever, your, your homies. If you have any questions, whatever, maybe y'all could give each other advice, share some stories, whatever. Like, just crack out the wine, crack it open. Period. <laughs> and just get into the stories and the tea. Okay, and you have know. real life girl chat. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Because maybe you had a question. Yeah. You know, maybe you want to know a few things. And maybe somebody got some tips. You don't even know. Yeah. Oh, this is definitely what I want to mm -hmm. say. And y'all might think, like, oh, I love here because I talk about here almost every time. But listen, let me tell you something. Head is a part of sex, okay? And, and that's just it, okay? And me personally, if you're not giving head you're not receiving you're not being recent listen unless somebody doesn't like it and they have like communicated that to you like okay, beforehand yeah this is not my thing i don't i don't like receiving because some people are like that but if not you it's a give and take yeah no it's a give and take yeah over here over you know here, over here at least whatever works for whoever uh, else that's their business but i really feel like you know you're grown and at this point, like like Sissy said, if you just don't like it at all, right. whatever, that's one thing. And if that's the conversation you and your partner had, that's cool. But for we us to get here and you expect me to give you some head and you not giving me none, no. Nah. And make sure it's fresh, please. Child. Can we not have funky balls? Yeah. And for the girls, come on, make sure that wop. It's clean. Exactly, early. okay? Like, Cause I mean, what's the point of having WAP if it smell like garbage truck juice? <laughs> they don't want that. <laughs> don't they don't want, want that. that. Like honestly. I'm gonna grouch. Oh, come on with the trash can. <laughs> get at the, I mean it's so important for the hygiene and men, come on, get under there. Yes, get absolutely. under the air, get it together. You want somebody to suck on the balls, get them clean. Get it together. Nobody's doing that. That's musty. It's Nobody wants that. <laughs> the gooch, get it. Nobody wants to be down there if it's smelling crazy. I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't really have, do you have like deal breakers like other than like head? Oh, if you don't do it? Mm hmm I would like you to eat my ass. I really would. Um, a lot of people at first don't, you know, they scared of it. They're mm -hmm. like, oh my God, this is so sad, but whatever. As long as it's clean, you should be cool. Right. But, um, yeah, that's a deal breaker for me. You're is not it? never going to do that? No. Listen. I mean, I feel like. I, yeah, I like doing it. I like, I love me. I like, well, I like getting it done. I have done it before. But, um, yeah, like, um, I don't know. 
I might get my ass a, but I don't know if it's a deal breaker. I'm not never gonna get my ass a again in life. That's a deal breaker for me. At least I don't need you to do it like. Oh, no, not now. If you don't do it at all, yeah. like I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm never yeah. gonna get it. Once, I feel like some shit. Once you go there, once the motherfuckers oh, take yeah. you there, it's hard to come back. That is true. You, I, I'm there already. I know what it feels like. I like it. That is true. If this is like a, a you my dude type of thing, like yeah. Yeah, let like my do now. If it's a um, just like a little, you know, a, fight a buddy, little whatever. swing, fuck yeah, Okay, you don't do that. Okay, uh, you can't even be my day. I know for a fact. I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is cool for what it is. Yeah, but like, this is what I like. So I need you to do that every now and then again. Like, right. you know what I mean? Surprise me, like, damn. Yeah, I, definitely, I, like. I definitely like him my ass, but I don't know if it's like a hardcore. Like, if you don't do this at all, I'm not dealing with you now. If you want to be my dude, then yeah, that's a hardcore. Nah. Like, but I'll get my ass ate, I don't know. Like, I, mm -mm. And it's like I said, it's not an every time thing for me, but I need you to be able to do something. Right. It's like, damn, surprise me. I, I'm just saying. This is something that I like, and I'm going to waste it to you. So that's just my opinion on that. It's head. crazy. Because I feel like eating ass is not as taboo as people say, because there's a lot of motherfuckers that eat ass. Let's it is, it. but they don't want to, like, be the I eat ass boy. Like, they don't want to. And it's okay, like, you know what I mean? Like, they don't want to. But it's okay, we're grown. We're grown, right? You know what I mean? If you mess with somebody clean, I'm a hoe, then it's like, it's right there anyway. First of all, if you want to eat it from the back, you eat ass. You have eaten that. You done slipped. I know okay. you have. The tongue then. It slipped. <laughs> it's a very small space. You, very small. You have slipped. So I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you keep telling me what you're not going to do. What you want to do. Right. What are you want to do? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Because you're telling me what you want me to do. Mm -hmm. And I know what I'm bringing to this table. So I need you to level one up. And this is why. Let's talk about sex. Okay? Head that sex up. Yeah, begin. Because you need to know. You need to know. It's important. Before you're bored it's to important. death, how do you mind? And now you want to cheat on Because I'm not, listen, I'm not getting into a relationship if, like, you don't do certain things, you know. We need to have a conversation of, you know, X, Y, and Z. Yeah. I feel like we need to be on that same page. Yes. Now, in some situations, like I said, if the chemistry is right, sometimes y'all just have that connection and don't even have to say much. But as y'all progress, and get closer and keep having sex, you know, because sex changes it over the years. Change. You it's try changed. different yes. things. So a conversation definitely needs to be had mm -hmm. at some point. Yeah. For sure. Okay. I feel like the chemistry there is it's it's there. I love when yeah, I don't gotta chemistry. tell a person, yo, I love when I don't gotta tell a nigga nothing. No, he just not. But he just who are you? Where'd you come from? Listen, like, honestly, when I tell you some of the best sex I ever had came from a guy that I did not have to tell him. He just touched me the right way. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm talking about, like, it was unexplainable. Like, the first time. The first time. The first time we had sex. I'm talking about the way he touched my body. I was like, he <laughs> loved it. Too, I said, he loved me. He loved me. <laughs> that makes it church, so I'm not like that. But. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I felt. And I, like, I would never forget that man, okay? Um, so, yeah. So, knowing what you like is very important. Are you comfortable with your sexuality? Are you, you know? comfortable with self? Are you? First, yeah. Like. Get to know yourself. Get to know your body. Like, you know what I mean? Play around. Get Pleasure to yourself, your, yeah. actually. Okay. Pleasure yourself. They have many a toy. If you Missy. like, many a toy to figure out, like, what you like and what stimulates you. Because mm -hmm. how are you going to tell somebody what you like if you don't even know? Right. That's very true. Um, I would probably masturbate more if um, I would learn to charge my toys. They always did. Um, they're always did when I need them. I mean, so. me too. Yeah, I mean, I... <laughs> I'll be like, it's, okay, well, I'll be, there that go. Yo, it ever die when you write oh, no. it. Then I want to, then I'm punching the air. Oh my God, you be right there. You could feel the batteries weakening. Like, <laughs> like no. <But> I, <laughs> just, and I out. have chargeable ones, so I don't have to worry about, like, getting yeah. batteries. I have The ones you plug up. up. Mm -hmm. They all should come with a USB pretty much nowadays. Nowadays like, it should, yeah. Charge them bitches up. Charge them up and have some fun Clean with yourself. You're done charging. See what you like. You know, yeah. explore yourself. You know, because how can you tell somebody else what you want if you don't really know yourself what you like or want? Right. That's hard now because you don't know. They don't know. Like, mm -hmm. 
awkward. It's very awkward. Especially, how can you have a conversation if you really yourself don't know what don't you know want? What you like. So explore, see what you like, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And definitely have that conversation. You know, it's a hard conversation to have. And mm. I feel like we tend to hide. We run and hide from difficult conversations. That's true. Um, yeah. And you need to have it. You you have to. Yeah. Because what's worse, you know, being uncomfortable in this moment, um, having this conversation, or just being uncomfortable and not satisfied in a relationship right. for a long period of time? Which one you want to choose? Which one choose? I'll take the moment. I will take the moment. Awkward, you know yeah. what I mean? Cause get a little drink. Give somebody a if you drink, you set know, the wine down, set exactly. the mood. And let's have a conversation. You let's could talk. probably listen, if you want to even get a little spicy, you can have a little sex games if you want to throw that in there yeah. to kind of like loosen it up or whatever. And you don't know what y'all could get into yeah. that night. Cause I never did it. Well, it was that show we were watching. What show? Married at first night. Uh-huh. When the chick just she was subtle. Oh yes. Um, and she, she wouldn't even get comfortable with that game. They had like yeah. the dice game that little, you throw. It was little things. Little Turn small husband, stuff. Just lick this part. Kiss this. And she no no. Yes. That's another thing that's going to get you cheated on or left. If you're just not willing to do the little things, exactly. like somebody needs some affection, and like, come on, come anything on. at all, like. That's why I said, you know, to avoid this from happening, have that conversation mm. because that saying what you won't do, someone else will, is <laughs> accurate. It's very, like, that serious. Is, yeah. It's the truth. What you won't do, somebody else will. And it goes for men, women, whatever. It, it definitely. It All goes for both. Full circle, yeah. Okay? Because uh, let me tell you, some freaky holes out here. It is. And they ready to go. Nasty this year. Yeah. <laughs> but for real. Nancy but classy yeah. is. <laughs> but yeah, they are. Y'all got little sad. Yes. Me and somebody in the middle compromise. Compromise, you know, I feel definitely, like. for sure. Because I feel like sex is, to so some people they might, you know, disagree with me. But I definitely feel like sex is so beautiful when done right. And mm -hmm. some people might say, like, there's no right, there's no wrong way to do in sex. But it is. To me. And what do you think that right and wrong way is? Um, first of all, I just feel like if you're not being fulfilled, both parties, it's wrong. It's wrong, yeah. <laughs> That's just how I feel. Because some people, I think they may think like, there's no right way, I guess, because like it's not like what you like is wrong. Yeah, what no. You, no, she's it's talking about even, if yeah. somebody not being pleased. If, That's wrong. Yeah, if somebody's not being pleased, if it's just a situation where it's one-sided, it's, it's wrong. It's wrong, man. You know, are y'all both not being pleased? What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? What's going on? Just thinking up the room. I'm like, not, I'm just saying. Hopefully not. But, um, yeah. yeah. Well, you know. You know, sex has a little you know. must. It's like, y'all was working. Y'all was in there working. You know what I mean? I understand it. Like, I appreciate yes. it. the sex smell. Just not stank. Like, just, uh, no. Mm -mm. It shouldn't Some stink. people like funk, too. That's, you, you know, know another conversation. Like <laughs> you know what? People like different things. The people Man, like what they like. like. Let's talk about this. Some stuff is really out of the like box. Yeah, because people have stuff, fetishes. Yeah, you know? fetish. Some people do have those fetishes. Yeah. And you really do have to be like, you have to get somebody's consent for that. And you I'm, have to be okay with it. Whatever you're, you know, depending on the severity of the fetish. I'm whatever. not going to disclose my fetish, but mm. I do have a low key fetish. Okay. <laughs> I do. I it's, 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 it's like, like, you know, it's a low key fetish. Right, right. Like, it's not an extreme, but it is, you know. Something that yeah. I like. Ooh. Yeah. Would you like to know? Would you ah. like to know? That <laughs> you know what? That is. Mm, I don't know. No. I mean, I don't know if I have a fetish. I don't think I do. Well, you know what? And I don't think I do. I have, I have things that I like. And that's what I want to say. Yeah, I want to say I have things that I like. Because I wouldn't necessarily say that it's a fetish. Because you saying that it's a fetish is like, it. exactly. And it's not like the only thing that I'm right. after. Or it's just I just gotta have really it. Like. But it's something that yeah. makes me her eyes. Yes, it's a turn on to you. It's definitely a turn on. And that's, it's a that's turn okay. We have things that turn us on, you know. And when you, you actually link up with it, it's like, oh. oh yes, like, <laughs> I lick it like a lollipop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so, have those conversations.
conversations, okay, is very important. I feel like when you have those conversations, it'll change. It's a beautiful it'll thing. Change. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing when you had it, cause you already know when each other likes. You're like, okay, boom, yeah. like let's get it. And when y'all like connected in that mm. moment, that is like that passionate sex is the best. Soul leaving bodies, like woo. When I, I saw the sun, the moon, the, the mountains, and the rich, all of it. I saw him. I know, first of all, I had no business listening to this song, but I know exactly what that man was talking about. Man. Yeah. Well, I don't think I did when I was younger. No. But now, yes. No. When I was oh, younger, I was no. Well, I thought I had no business listening to that yeah, song. But now I know. But now, yes. Now, and that's most songs, you know. Yeah. Now I'm like, I know what that man was I know exactly what he's talking about. Okay. He left his body. That's I it. understand that. Mm hmm. He saw heaven. That's okay. And it could be that. It could be that as long as you're clear with each other and you talk and communicate. Oh, yes. It's a go. Because now we're on the same page with it. Yes. And I'm like, all right, cool. Yes, I definitely feel like sex is more than sex. It's not just mm -hmm. sex. It's something so powerful. And when you're not being fulfilled and you're not doing it right, when both parties are not satisfied, you're doing it wrong and you're missing out on you're something so beautiful. And it's a terrible, terrible thing. To miss out. Yeah, it's a, and it's a terrible thing when you're <laughs> not being pleased and, you know, it's not, that's not good. That's not a good time. It's not good. It's time to go. You, listen. Okay. See you later. Yes. People have been kicked out. It's not a go. Yes, yes, yes. So, tell us what you think about sex. Like, are you comfortable talking about sex? Are you, you know, is this something that you stray away from? Or are you completely comfortable with your sexuality? You know, leave those comments down. Mm -hmm. Let us know how you feel. Do you agree with what we're saying? Mm -hmm. um, we want to hear from you. You we know, let's talk about that, yo. Let's talk about it. Okay. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Bye. Bye.